Hey, honestly, I wasn't sure about this. Even if some truly recognized YouTube channel and those that are less known have already shared their points of view by comparing these two products, I was still hesitant will this video make sense. But then I realized why not give my own take regarding the subject. The iPad 9 and the iPad mini 6 are aiming at two different segments of the market, but they can still overlap in a couple of points. So let's go. Hi friends and what friends. Welcome to Digital Markings channel. This is everything about Apple. So subscribe, leave a nice comment, press the finger and turn on notification. Yeah. What are you doing? On September 14, the latest iPad and the newest edition of the iPad mini have been released. Both of these tablets have their own thumb base that's been built through years, with bigger one, Apple's entry-level iPad, being more popular. And for most of the time, it hasn't been about how it looks like. Since this can now be considered as obsolete design language, yet it's big enough, its power is more than sufficient, and that price is like a gift from heaven. The iPad mini could have been observed as its smaller iteration, although far more superior in terms of specs and features since its clues were more commonly inherited from the iPad Air lineups. No wonder why it belongs to mid-tier. Its sixth generation brings huge refresh and the look and feel of more modern and sophisticated product. It also introduced us with the latest chip, the A15 paired with 4 gigs of RAM, much better back and front camera and edge-to-edge 8.3-inch -edge display with the Touch ID finally relocated to the power button. The iPad 9 did not move away from 10.2-inch design, lacking lamination, and beside the A13 Bionic, there are no some significant improvements at all. It may share only front-facing ultra-wide camera with the iPad mini, but in every other way it falls short. No need to mention that the iPad mini 6 now relies on USB-C, while a regular iPad is the last iPad that utilizes lightning connector. Blackbeard hosting. Simple, easy to use website installer, 24-7 customer support, real people, and more hosted on fast, reliable and secure servers. Check it out, one month free trial, no credit card needed. With digital markings code, you get 5% off. Blackbeard hosting, hosting as it should be. So in terms of power, you will get more with the iPad mini, that's for sure. The question is, how much would that mean to you? If you want more and if you're a gamer or you would want to get some photo editing and maybe video before you get your hands on something like Pro or switch to Mac, the iPad mini is definitely a go. The A15 is up to 40% faster than the A13, yet the question is, will you feel that during day-to-day -day use? With that said, majority of users would not go as far to use resource-hungry apps for most of the time. Therefore, majority of average consumers should still be leaning toward regular iPads. From visual perspective, there's nothing to complain when you look at the newest iPad mini and frankly it wouldn't surprise me if, if many users those that are willing to invest a little more money into their iPad could gladly jump in the mini wagon it just looks amazing. Nevertheless, the old design can prevail with some consumers, so don't touch that home button. Uh -uh. While Mini's display increase is really obvious, it's still not as big as 10.2 inches. Those who like the bigger display will go without much thinking for 9 Gen iPad. Reading books, web surfing, watching movies could just be more exciting if the screen real estate is bigger. Forgive me for my lack of lamination and improved sound of the iPad mini with its new stereo speakers. There is also a confusing part. Pros and enthusiasts could use USB-C port in order to connect to external devices. Even camera on the back is not as bad and with a good lightning it will be okay. But then there is no smart connector for Apple's smart keyboard folio since there is none for its size. You do have to rely on third-party manufacturers. If some of you would want an iPad 
to be your desktop laptop replacer with everything made by Apple, you could just go with a standard iPad. Not only that the size plays the major difference, but the presence of the headphone jack as well. Both of these iPads can easily connect a wireless printer and any other useful devices. Some could be more happy with faster and improved Bluetooth technology of the smaller model. I'm just saying. Apple Pencil 1 iPad versus Pencil 2 iPad Mini will not make much of a difference on 60Hz refresh rate, so let's not talk about it. Same thing with storage, since both of these babies are available in 64 gigs and 256 gigs storage variants. The iPad mini is pricier, but not as much comparable to what it offers. But the standard iPad is still the king on the hill price-wise, with 64 gigs base model for 329 nothing comes close. So which side are you on? Please answer below. Make sure you subscribe, hit the thumbs up and turn on notifications. Thank you so so much for watching this the mocking channel my name is Marco talk to you soon have an excellent day bye